Johnny Pink. Okay, I'm. I rented. I like using extenders. The 1.4, the teleconverters, as Nikon calls them, and I was using it on the 180 to 600. A lot of people have enjoyed it, and I really liked using the extender on the 600 PF. I thought that was fantastic. This one, what I'm noticing is it is struggling to focus. Now everything, all these lenses, that every single one that I've ever used, when you're at your minimum focus distance, they all struggle just a wee bit. They, they, they all have that problem. So it could be that, but as I was just talking to James about, he's using his old, old Tamron. He says that snaps on to focus quicker than this 180 to 600. I don't know because I haven't used both, but that's just my opinion that it's sometimes a little bit slow to focus. So I can't fault the software in the body, just maybe it's the lens. I should have rented a 600 PF to go with it too, because I really enjoyed that one on the Z8. I'm going to wander down this little path over here, and this is still Kenneth Hahn Park. It's an amazing place. And I'm going to go into the bushes over here by the water and see if I can't get something there. So I'm going to go this way. <music> Well, the one setup I really wish that I had right here is my 100 to 500 on the R5 II, or any Canon for that matter, because of that short minimum focus distance of that lens. That is so, so, so huge to me. To me, that's a big, big, big deal. So I'm, I've got these dragonflies that are perched around me. There's a little turtle over here too. He's trying to pretend that I don't exist. I don't want to disturb him, but I can't, they're, they're too close. So that's one of the disadvantages to this lens. It's something that wouldn't necessarily work for me. And again, I, I've, as I've said before to people, you know, I, I use the manual focus button a lot. Like right now, trying to get this one dragonfly, zoom back out so that I can zoom, so that I can get it in focus. There we go. Push the button. I expect the camera to lock in. It's one thing I will say comparing Canon to Nikon. The eye focus tracking on Canon, even, even their older versions, when I'm shooting the insects and the little things that I like, dragonflies, it locks onto the eyeball. I use that all the time. I was commenting online with someone this morning that when I'm shooting macro, Chris, I was talking uh, with you. <laughs> I use my autofocus. I have a manual focus for for macro, 
but I like Canon's EF version 100 millimeter and I use the autofocus all the time. It just locks onto the eyeball. It's just something for me that just works. I want something that just works consistently 100% of the time. I can't say anything about, about this because this could be the lens and I was just talking to James about it and he said he had trouble. It seemed to be slower focusing as well. It could just be the lens. But again, when I used the 600 PF, I really enjoyed that. And I know I'm going to get comments from people, well, you should do this, and you said it this way. I don't want to go through all that rigmarole. I just want to shoot. Put my focus on, it locks onto it, or use the eye tracking that I have set on another button, and it just locks onto it. It's simple. These are just my thoughts on this particular combo. Would it be a combo for me? Probably not, because it's not doing everything I want it to do easily if this is all you know it's fantastic and and would i be happy with it if this was all i had to shoot absolutely 100 percent all day long i'd just be out happy happy out standing here in the mud which you can't see is all the mud around my feet or the smell it smells like swamp now without shooting eight i can i sure hope that i was able that you could see me over there now without shooting eight bazillion different photos if not, you'll see just the tip of my head in that video. <laughs> That's okay. I'm shooting dragonflies. I'm happy. I'm more happy than I can tell you just to be out and to be able to share with you guys that. It's a highlight. It really, really is. As I said before, if you couldn't hear it, I did take the extender off because it just was not finding focus with this particular lens. And I know many people are going to say, well, it's the way you have it set. You set it this way. No, you need to set it this way. I don't want to do that. I want something that I push the focus button and it focuses. Could be a setting that I missed, I don't know. But I had fun. So there you go. Johnny Pink. Hey man, thanks for letting me share with you guys. I do appreciate it. You have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're gonna do out there. And I'm gonna go wander. Actually, I think I might just go home now. Thanks for letting me share with you. We'll see you.